Small businesses help drive the American economy. And with consumer confidence and spending on the rise, it's more important now than ever for business owners to take a closer look at how they're doing things and see if there are areas for growth. We're here now with tips on guiding your business to success are small business experts Sharon Miller and Steven Strauss. Welcome, you two. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Happy to have you here. So my husband's a small business owner, so this is near and dear to my heart. I'm wondering, how has the small business landscape evolved in the last few years? We've seen strength in the U.S. economy, and we've seen strength in the local communities that we serve. Uh, small business is a very local business, so it does depend on the community you are in. But when I go into places like Baltimore uh, or here in New York, other places across the country, San Francisco, uh, Los Angeles, I'm seeing strength and I'm seeing building and I'm seeing uh, people going into restaurants, they're eating, they're, they're going places, they are spending money and we are seeing consumer spending up and that has a great deal to do with what's happening in the small business landscape. So for our viewers who are thinking about taking that lunch, taking that plunge and starting their own small businesses, what would you suggest to them? Well, I would say listen to Sharon. You know, this is a great time to start a business. The economy is doing so well. Uh, and if you're going to do that, one suggestion I, give, I would give people is take advantage of technology. Uh, increasingly, employees want to work remotely, right, when and where they want. So as a small business owner, you have to give them the tools to do that. Uh, customers want to interact with you, of course, in your physical store if you have one, but also online via your social, via, via your website. So again, you have to give them the tools that allow them to interact with you that way. The good news is large companies are creating some really amazing tools for we small businesses that allow us to be small, be nimble, be personal, which is what we're great at, but also look big. And I know, and Sharon can answer this actually better than I, you know, Bank of America has a new financial tool, right? We do, we do. So along with our virtual assistant, Erica, we have launched the Business Advantage 360. And this tool allows business owners to understand what's happening with their business. What, what can they anticipate coming into their account? What about going out? And so it's not just what's happening now with the activity, but this is in the future as well. What can we anticipate? And so this is managing cash flow. And the number one reason that businesses go out of business is because they're not managing their cash flow. They're not able to stay afloat, so to speak. And so this, to me, is a critical tool. We have been in development for over a year on it. We've been listening to our clients, and this is what they're telling us would help them. And so it's a clear dashboard. If you're already a client of Bank of America and a business client, you can simply go online and click on that Business Advantage 360, and you will see this capability. And it's going to give you insights and information for your business so that you can do what you do best, which is you know run your restaurant, go in to, uh, to whatever it is you're doing and fulfill your dream because on the back end we have to make sure that we're taking care of the books and that you're able to stay viable and grow and thrive in that local community. And I can imagine that this will actually help establish small business owners sort of expand and look at areas of growth as well, correct? Well, absolutely. You know, one mistake I see small business owners make is they get a little too narrow. They, they fall in love with something, whether it's being their own boss or maybe they love to cook and they open a restaurant. And they do that one thing, but they don't expand their profit centers. So if you're going to succeed in small business, what you want to do is create what I call multiple profit centers so that you create extra pro other products, extra products, another service, mm -hmm. uh, another location. By having multiple profit centers, then when one part of your business might be down, the other part is up. And that part might go down, the other part Absolutely. is up. So it evens out your business cycle and you can make more money. Keep analyzing. Thank you both so much for being here. Really helpful information. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.